Some people wonder, you know, why does literature, why do books matter? And the reason they matter, including all art, is because if you don't tell your story, in many cases, it either doesn't get told at all, or it gets told by someone else. And so you get the sense that when the Spanish came here and met with the indigenous or collided with them, that a lot of this information was taken or learned from the natives. And yet you don't see anything here in the native language, do you? You see it in the Spanish language. You see a lot of these, I suppose, scientific applications being so-called discovered by the Spaniards. And at least that's what it looks like. But in fact, the indigenous people were probably the ones that discovered it. But because they were so busy farming, having you know, babies, and just moving along with life, that they did not have an opportunity, opportunity or time to come in and put things down on paper or in some sort of medium that could be passed down from generation to generation. So you have this conflict between oral or verbal history and the written history that we study in schools. And there's a real debate about which is more accurate and you know, which is at least more complete. But if any, anyone asks you, you know, why is it that we have some money invested or time invested in education? And the answer is very simple. The answer is, is if, if you don't tell your history, someone else will do it for you. And perhaps it will be in a way that is not true, or at least in a way that does not reflect your experience. And once you have that compounded from generation to generation, eventually you disappear and your culture disappears.